What's up? I'm going to take two minutes to talk about meal timing and intermittent fasting. So, something I've been putting to the test for about the last six months is intermittent fasting. There's a ton of research that shows that actually delaying that fasting period from when uh, the, your last meal, the, uh, the day until your following next meal, has a ton of benefits. So, what to believe? It's up to you to, to self-experiment and find out. Uh, a lot of research demonstrates that there's a lot of benefits in intermittent fasting, and I want to share some of them that I've noticed. So, number one, we hear people all the time to speed up your metabolism. You need to eat all the time, all these frequent meals. You know, well, there's a couple of things that are problems with that. You know, for one, uh, there's been studies that show that frequent eating uh, leads to systemic inflammation because that's more that your body has to process everything that's coming in. Two, it's just not realistic depending on what type of job you have and um, you know, just lifestyle that keeps you busy. And then you're just eating a high volume of food and never really giving your body enough time to rest. So experimenting with intermittent fasting was tough to me because I constantly heard that I need to eat all the time to keep amino acids and uh, you know, supply for my muscles to be able to recover and grow. And giving this a shot was something that was a little bit nerve wracking at first, but now I feel great um, going that I've you know, I've gone periods of up to 18 hours or so without eating, I'm still eating the same amount of food in the period of day, it's just a smaller window. You know, so instead of starting eating at like 8 o'clock and eating until 8, and so just meals every 3 hours or so, I've shortened that window up closer to an 8 hour window. So the common method that I'm trying is 16-8. Uh, so fasting for 16 hours, feeding for 8 hours. So it's really not much to think about. I just eat my last meal, let's say around like 8 o'clock, let's just say hypothetically, and then my first meal would be around noon or so. Could be a little bit before, could be a little bit after, but ideally I'm just skipping that breakfast portion and eating it more closer to the lunchtime, whether it's a meeting that I have or just making something on my own. I've noticed a lot of benefits that it frees up more energy. Uh, it also helps me out that I found out I have an egg intolerance, and so uh, most breakfasts are eggs or sugar. So if I can eliminate breakfast, I now have eliminated two of the most common food groups that personally mess with me. And I feel so much better when I'm not loading up on fruit, fructose, sugar, or eggs. I've also noticed that I've stayed a lot more lean, just effortlessly uh, with this method. I'm thinking that it just allows your body, and there's studies that represent this as well, to search for another fuel source. So if my blood sugar is never spiked early in the day, which protein can do that or sugar can do that, I'm more in that fat burning mode all throughout the day. So, you know, it, it might take a few days or so to convert to this or get used, maybe it's a couple weeks or so. Um, my suggestion is to slowly buying yourself a little bit more time and giving over the feeling that you need to eat something first thing. And understand that there's a lot of good things that are happening when you're not eating, you know, so from Hormone reactions such as leptins decreasing, which can allow things like testosterone and growth hormone to increase, um, to cellular cleansing. So that's the act of your body basically removing toxic waste, uh, neurogenesis, which is more brain cells, which I'll reference some links to this. Uh, but I can definitely speak for myself when it comes to, I'm just more focused earlier in the day. And there's also studies to support that, you know, if you start eating, it typically starts that fuel cycle where your body's going to want to eat again in the next two or three hours or so, especially when it comes to carbohydrates. So what about if you train early in the day, which I do a lot, um, I just go into that workout fasted. Occasionally if it's a really aggressive workout, I might have some amino acids maybe during the workout, but I really don't worry about it. I've, gone, I've had strength gains in this period of time and I've stayed lean. Um, it's so much easier for me to get a lot done and eat in that smaller window. And then you don't have to obsess over eating tons of different meals. I just try to get all my meals in about two to three meals later in the day. One big one to break my fast around that lunchtime period. And then I'll have another meal and maybe a snack. And I tend to like to eat my carbohydrates later in the day. And then that allows me to recover overnight. And then I'm still burning all that fuel off the next day. So it's been huge for me. I love the benefits of it. It's super easy. It's giving me more freedom with eating. Um, I don't do it every single day. I use it as a tool a lot, especially maybe if I ate food that I wasn't super proud of the night before. It makes me feel a lot better about going on that period of time. Uh, but check out the studies. Try it out for yourself. Uh, you know, see if you can adapt it to your schedule. Maybe it works for you. Uh, there's a lot of research, but we don't need to obsess with this idea that we need to eat every single meal. That's just big marketing gimmicks. 
You have to think, I mean, since the beginning of time, if we were hunting our food, there wasn't always food available. So we had to be able to have that survival mechanism to be able to go out and thrive and do things without eating constantly. And then from a digestive perspective, you're giving yourself so much more rest because your body doesn't have to constantly break down food, which, uh, I mean, it has a couple reactions. From a blood sugar perspective, you're gonna be more insulin sensitive, which is a good thing, so you're gonna be able to handle carbohydrates much better when you do eat them. But if you have food intolerances, now you're able to let your body get a lot of the garbage out. And I think we can all relate to the feeling of going out having a big heavy dinner the night before, and then in the morning you can feel that food on your stomach. That's a sign that your body hasn't gotten everything out. This is just giving yourself that, that minimum time of, let's say, at least 12 hours, which is really easy to do if you think, 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock, start there and then push that back a little bit, but it gives you more time to be able to free up everything, so you're detoxing, cleansing, and then the next meal that you eat, your body's going to be able to handle that with full energy. So still eating the same amount of food, you know, let's say you're eating 2,500 calories or so, so you're still getting that a shorter window, giving yourself a lot more freedom. Uh, try it out, let me know if you have any questions. Check out some of the links for the research, uh, pretty cool stuff, nothing to sell, no product. Just uh, educating yourself and giving yourself some more freedom. All right, thanks for watching.